When we establish data ecosystems, one important thing to consider is that we also establish data spaces because within data spaces, different members of the ecosystem can share their data, so make it available, use it in order to leverage the value of the data with keeping control over the data and also um, with keeping trust among participants. In order to be connected to a data space, what you need is a data space connector. The IDS reference architecture model specifies how such a data space connector should look like in order to ensure that the key requirements for data sharing in data spaces are met. And those key requirements are trust among participants, interoperability of the data, and sovereignty when it comes to the reuse of the data through other members in the ecosystem. And that is what the data space connector, which was developed by Fraunhofer ISST, exactly does. So it's the perfect entry point for you as a company who want to engage into a data space or even data ecosystem endeavor. It's open source and by that is also um, based on trust and also on the contribution of many. And if you feel that's something for you, just reach out to us and um, engage with us. So we, from a DB Schenker perspective, are trying to make use of the IDS connector in order to bring into a really fragmented world of the logistics uh, some kind of industrial standard. So um, our ambition is to use the IDS connector to get connected to our customers, to our partners, to our carriers. And um, we want to ensure that we can make use of this architecture in order to really create a standard and um, to benefit from it in order to, yeah, let's say, increase our speed in getting connected to the named partners, um, as well as to provide a standard and to foster um, data exchange. Yeah, hi there, my name is Sven Löffler from Deutsche Telekom. I'm responsible for the Telekom uh, Data Intelligence Hub, and uh, we are implemented one of the important components um, the IDS data connector. The data connector is the important uh, component to give um, participants access to the different data rooms that are just popping up. Mobility data space is one of the uh, really important um, uh, spaces that we are seeing right now. And with the data connector, you are able uh, to share um, data uh, from data providers to data consumers uh, in a kind of peer-to-peer -peer exchange and with your connector, we are making sure that uh, you can um, yeah, um, uh, implement the three key principles that are relevant for the data connector. First of all, it's all about trust and uh, security. Uh, with the identity management uh, behind the scenes, uh, you are managing the identity of the connector. The second part is the sovereignty aspect. Uh, you as a data provider can control um, the, the, the data, uh, the data control and flow. Uh, we call it data sovereignty, as I said. And of course, between the participants, the third component is the interoperability between the data provider and the data consumer. And with these uh, important parts, the LES connector, uh, you can securely exchange in a trusted way uh, data in ecosystems. My name is Alanas von Radetzky. I am the CEO of the Data Competence Center for Cities and Regions. And we support cities in creating urban data environments and in using data for improving urban life and the sustainable development of cities. The urban data space is orchestrated through a variety of stakeholders that need to share their data in order to inform smart solutions and data-driven solutions for cities. And that has a daisy chain of data in the back end, um, which makes it very important that there's a harmonized, standardized solution for data sharing. We use the data space connector to empower citizens 
and third parties in the urban environment to stay in ownership and in charge of their own data. And that enables us to create harmonized and seamless smart city solutions, which we ultimately believe are the key to a better development of our cities. Innovative solutions in terms of a consistent data ecosystems are crucial to increase portability, interoperability, as well as interconnectivity and data sovereignty for a wide variety of fields of application. For the BMW Group, it is important to define standards for secure and trustworthy data exchange in Europe and at the same time ensure international connectivity. Therefore, as one of the 22 founding members, we support the goals of GAIA-X to promote the development of a secure and trustworthy data infrastructure for Europe. The IDS connector, in turn, is a central component which can enable the sovereign exchange of data according to these defined guidelines and principles GAIA-X offers. For the BMW Group, the solution helps to strengthen many use cases along the automotive value chain. In the past, the lack of control or transparency over the data and especially the transfer has so far been a major obstacle in setting up cross-industry platforms. GAIA-X wants to address this and the IDS connector is an important component to achieve this higher goal for the future. Together with some of the most important companies in the vehicle industry, we're joining forces to form a Eurobyte partner network, Catina X. It is intended to enable secure cross-company data exchange between all those involved in the automotive value chain. It is one of the first big lighthouse projects and will be based on GAIA-X standard. All the companies involved have already agreed to use the IDS connector as part of their common infrastructure. Yeah, and we explicitly expect a cross-divisional added value. We hope to find new opportunities to facilitate data exchange across systems with the help of the IDS connector. We all want to see vital data sharing ecosystems in place. At the same time, we have to agree on a governance to add the trust we all strive for. IDSA provides a consent-based trust framework as the reliable foundation of federated ecosystems. With our reference architecture model, the certification scheme and the rulebook focusing on operational issues. In order to make the aforementioned ecosystems flourish, we need concrete and market-ready implementations of this trust anchor to flood data spaces with participants. Therefore, IDSA supports and stimulates the creation of the desired assets. All reference implementations and starting points for additional features will be governed and further developed in our open source software project. So please check our repositories and see what is already available. Make use of the generic solutions and minimal viable data space components Contribute to our open source endeavor and let data spaces grow. Building sovereign data spaces is the foundation for business model, especially with data sharing. The data space connector therefore enables interoperability, metadata handling and of course usage policy management. These capabilities are the key for the infrastructure of federated and trustful digital ecosystems. Since everyone benefits from the availability of such a component to participate on this endeavor, we made the data space connector open source and free to use for everyone. We believe in joining forces to reach our common goals and welcome everyone to support us. Join the data space community now and contribute to the future of data spaces and sovereign data exchange.